Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, design of RC elements. So in the topic of design of square slab using yield line theory. So the problem is a square slab of side length 4 meter is simply supported at the ends and carries a service low, live load of 3 kN per meter square. Design the slab used M20 grade concrete and FE415 steel. Okay, so now the given values. So the given values L equal to 4 meter. So then FCK is 20 Newton per mm square. So then FY value is 415 Newton per mm square. Okay, so these are all the given values. So now the solution. So first thing is we can find out the effective depth of slab. So effective depth equal to span by 25. So this, though this is a simply supported beam, so we can take span by uh, depth is 25. So now we can take span is 4000 divided by, sorry span by depth is 35. So 4000 divided by 35. So we are solving this we got the value of 114 mm. Okay, so approximately we can take 115 mm. So next thing is let us provide the cover. So cover is 15 mm. So overall depth D equal to depth plus 15. So that is 115 plus 15 that is 130 mm. So now D is uh, effective depth. So we can take uh, D is 130 minus cover is 15 minus reinforcement e equal to we got 105 mm. Okay, so this is the effective depth. This is overall depth. Okay, so now we, are, we can find out the loads. So now self light of slab equal to 0 0.13 that is depth into 25 that is into 1 meter distance. So 3.25 kN per meter square. Okay, so next thing is finishes load. So finish this load uh, we can take 1.10 kN per meter square. So then live load that is given. So live load is uh, given values 3 kN per meter square. Okay. So we can take uh, in total 7.35 kN per meter square. Okay. So now we can take the factor load. Factor load is uh, 7.35 into 1.5. Okay, so now we got the value of 11.025 newton per sorry, kilonewton per meter square. Okay, so this is the load. So from that we can find out the moment. So for square sap simply supported beam, uh, the yield line theory moment formula is W U L square divided by 24. So we can uh, substitute the answer. So substitute the value 11.025 into 10 power 3 into length is 4000 4000 square divided by 24 okay solving this we got the value of 7.35 into 10 power 6 newton m okay so this is the moment okay so now we can find out the uh, mu limit so whether we can check the under reinforced or over reinforced so mu limit equal to 1 0.138 fck b d square okay so now we can substitute 0 0.138 into fck values 20 into b values 1000 into d values 105 square okay so now we got the value of 30.44 into 10 power 6 newton m okay so now hence mu is smaller than mu limit hence this uh, reinforcement is under reinforced So now reinforcement the formula is MU equal to 0 0.87 FY AST into D into 1 minus AST into FY divided by FCK B into D. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values over here 7.35 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.87 into FY values 415 into AST we have to find out into D is 105 into 1 minus EAST is we can find out 415 
divided by fck is 20 into b values 1000 into d values 105 okay so solving this we got the value of ast equal to 202 mm square okay so now we can use 8 mm dia bars at 240 mm center to center spacing okay so now distribution bars so that is uh, 0 0.12 percentage so that is 0 0.12 divided by 100 0 0.12 percentage of b into d so that is 1000 into 130 okay so now we got the value of 156 mm square okay so now use 8 mm dia bars at 250 mm center to center okay so this is a distribution reinforcement so this is the main reinforcement okay so both cases we can use the 8 mm dia bars so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you